Hello to you from one of the great footballing cities in Spain. We're at the Estadio Ciudad de Valencia. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. I'm looking forward to bringing you action from the Spanish top flight, La Liga. It's Barcelona, and they face Caddy. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, this is what we think for Barcelona. Although we have it down as a 4-5-1, it's actually more likely to be a 4-2-3-1. They play with two holding midfield players, a number 10 and two wingers. The system has a nice balance to it. The opposition starting 11. Well, they're playing the same shape, really. So it's all about getting control of that central area. And which of the wide players has the greatest effect on the game? And so the match is underway. Ivan Alejo. Useful looking ball. Well, nothing productive, really. Oriol Romeu. De Jong. Pedri. Gundogan. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? This is looking threatening. Gundogan. Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Robert Lewandowski is one of those natural finishers and could be a big part of the story today, Stuart. Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. Superb block. So the corner played into the box. And he failed to get it away properly. A fine block. Let's see about the delivery. It's still dangerous. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Frankie de Jong. De Jong. He's got the right idea with that pass. Well, the fans really want him to shoot. In it goes! The goal for 1-0, and that changes the dynamic. Well, just look at this pass from De Jong, and then the shot is emphatic. He strikes it with such power, the keeper has no time to react. What a good finish. So the 
ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. And strong play here. Well, visionary passing. It looked as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. Ronald Araujo. Is it going to end up being productive for them? Oh, great attacking play. Gundogan! Well, this is worth seeing again. Just look how Frankie de Jong goes beyond his man. And it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0. could pose problems for the defenders oh the moment of pure class had to catch it perfectly and didn't he just well here's the replay and it all starts with the delivery into the box just begging someone to get on the end of it and Lewandowski wasn't going to miss that he knows exactly where to be when the ball is played in the box he's such a great player so continuing with the game and the fact of the matter is Barca are handing out a very harsh lesson Garrido and he takes it away. Well, as you can see, Barcelona have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Now can they win back possession and carve out another chance for themselves? Garrido. Team emerging of wasted possession. Torres Romeu on to De Jong Oriol Romeu and he saw the situation developing Luis Hernandez Ruben Alcaraz and he favours the inside routes. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Ferran Torres. Pedri. Lewandowski. And he did so well to move across and deal with the danger. Trying to deliver it accurately. And using his strength to shield the ball. Matisse. Teammates in the middle. Is he going to put it away? Well, the only way to say it is he got it all horribly wrong, Stuart. Well, he has to make the keeper work harder than that. That's a tame finish. Now they've lost it. Fali. An attack full of promise. And Torres on the ball. And a good tackle.
He continues his run. Well, no problems defensively. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Good bit of pressing. Well, there it is. That's going to bring to an end the first half here at the Estadio Ciudad de Valencia. An analysis of Robert Lewandowski's performance up to this point leads us to very positive reviews, you've got to say, Stuart. Yeah, he's been brilliant, hasn't he? He looks such a threat every time he gets the ball. And, of course, he scored a very good goal. So the ball is rolling again. Barcelona having already made a big first-half statement here. Is there to be a response in the second 45? Barcelona, free kick. It'll be here. Making sure nothing came of it. Ferran Torres given away by Barcelona Roger Matisse has it it's a good looking ball in behind not an attempt that will live long in the memory well what a waste that is it's far too easy for the keeper really a very poor ball Gundogan and the referee felt he had to blow the whistle and the substitution will occur now Gundogan Romeu it's with Gundogan excellent passing Lewandowski great defending can't get the shot through oh that's a pass of high quality Well, it's great awareness of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. Well, sadly, we have to conclude that this hasn't really been a contest, but all credit to any side committed to scoring goals like this. Matisse. Superb block. Araujo Romeu well he's given us away and the keeper there to deal with it both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench Let's see about the delivery. Well, no end product. And reading it absolutely superbly. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle. And the referee has got to book him, I think. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
Pedri. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Great block. Not able to put it behind for what will be a corner here. Short corner taken. De Jong. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Lewandowski. In position. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts off with that cross into the box, just begging for a teammate to get on the end of it. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. It is to be a throw-in. He succeeds in clearing it. A borderline offside, but correct. <laughs> well, he's going to be disappointed with that pass. Garrido and with that the attack fizzles out well the counter chance looks very real well, so many possibilities but it didn't happen for them just 10 minutes remaining here well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Jose Mari. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? Oh, right in the nick of time. Well, really, you've got to say Barcelona in cruise control here, Stuart. Your reflections on their performance. Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy have been a joy to watch. It's been a really good win for them. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Ferran Torres. How can he take them on and beat them? And blocked for now. And three minutes of stoppage time to be added on. Really good interception. Eric Garcia. Sergio Roberto.
And that is that very satisfying from the Barca point of view. A victory here. What did you think of their overall display? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, it's understandable that we focus once again on Robert Lewandowski. How would you sum up his performance? Well, he did everything today. His energy, skill and movement was just too good for those defenders. It was a really good display.